tell me about the best whiskey in the world. The Glen Scotia 25 year old best in class and overall best whiskey at the San Francisco Spirits Competition 2021. Out of 3,800 entrants, wow. this is the one at one. Top whiskey from Campbelltown, from Glen Scotia where we are today. What exactly does it take to make the world's best whisky? It really takes a great team. There's no other way of constructing whiskies like this. You need a fantastic team, you need time, you need dedication, you need good liquid. And I think it helps you from Campbelltown. But I'm a wee bit biased <laughs> there. There's been production at Glen Scotia since 1832 on and all. So we're lucky enough to have inherited a lot of refill casks through the years. And that really gives you a wonderful timeline. It gives you an insight into that flavour profile of the distillery and enhance it a little bit. Just give it a little twist with that first fill bourbon then it really creates something special. That gentle maturation over a long period of time in those refill American oak casks that allow the spirit character, the DNA to shine through. Yep. And it's a testament to the spirit that you're creating here at Glen Scotia, that it has become something marvelous 25 years down the line. We're lucky enough, we've got that wonderful spirit character. It's Campbelltown, it's coastal, it's maritime, it's oily, it's salty. It's got a wonderful fruit flavor profile running through it. So all these elements, when you combine them, then you're gonna get something special. I'll speak for everyone here, but I don't think in our wildest dreams we would ever think that we would win Best Whiskey in the World 2021. What an achievement. Ian, you've been here at Glen Scotia for 15 years. You're also the current custodian of the distillery and all of these casks. That's a huge job, how does that feel? It's not just a job, it's something you've got to have a passion, a love for. We've got a fantastic stock profile and a lot of these casks Asks lead back to what you see in the 25 year old. Words fail me with the privilege that it is to work at Glen Scotia. Everybody who's worked at Glen Scotia over the many, many decades, particularly those people who distilled the liquid that's in this bottle yeah. 25 years ago, yeah. this is an award for them as well. Absolutely. Can we dig in? Tell yes, me about this. Yes, 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 absolutely. Oh, wow. Look at the colour, wonderful colour. That refill aspect is there for sure, but the first fill bourbon aspect it really gives it that enhancement. And that nose is just incredible. Wow. Nose is absolutely beautiful. You got a lot of the maritime aspects straight away there. Subtle spices, the freshness of the first fill bourbon cask. Let's give it a try. Slanger, you can tell. Mm. Beautiful. A lot of red apples, orange peel, orange zest, a little bit of nutmeg, spiciness. You get that salinity, you get salt, the oiliness, coastal elements come together there. Lots of vanilla fudge character, which I guess comes from those lovely bourbon casks. Cask. Just delicious. It's a wonderful dram, and I'm really pleased you could share it with us, Becky. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>